Hello my HQTs, my H lovelies, it's Friday night and we are feeling alright, we're feeling great actually. Fancy the wild country, if you are your phones front and centre and I feel a, a wall between us, feel some distance here, no walls allowed, let's see what we can do about that. Got to do something, coming closer, coming a little closer, okay, there we go. Welcome everyone, are you coupled up for the night? Is your better half going to help you win the game? Well, Hollywood's hottest couple, J-Lo and A-Rod just got quite the engagement gift, a congratulations note from none other than Barack Obama. It's actually a lot of pressure right there, a note from a former president. Now they have no choice but to make it work forever. Right now, what would you get the happy couple as a gift? Let me know right now in the chat. A Ross engagement gift, let me know in the chat. Funnily enough, I just received my own special note from Barack right here. I'm super excited to read this special delivery for Sharon. Let's see what's inside. It's from Barack Baggins, our friendly tech guy. Not quite the same thing. What a bummer. Kate Beckinsale, moving ahead, has deleted all her IG posts. She is tired of hearing you guys. Occur? All right. Speaking of occur, we can't say it anymore. Cardi B is now getting it trademarked to secure the bag, but don't worry, you can still say occru, okay, and okay as well. So we should be able to get by, hopefully. Now for the important stuff. This is HQ, it's where you use your brain to make it rain. And you know, it's season three, baby. We heard you like leveling up. So we're dishing out way more points this season. In case you don't know, level Q. That's right, facts. The higher your level, the more free passes you get on questions. Players who reach level 10 will only need to answer two questions correctly to win the game. And that's the case for the rest of the entire season. Pretty cool, right? Gonna make it to level 10, hopefully. Plus, guess what? This is awesome. You now get points to play HQ Virtual Games, win more points and level up faster with every correct letter that you get right. Oh, and you said you've run out of friends to invite to the game for free extra lives. Well, great news, we've wiped the slate clean. Re-invite every one of your buddies and your boothing play season three and you both get an extra live it is a win-win situation hopefully you can it will help you win the game as well now you know we've got more surprises in store this season because you never know what can happen when we're live it could be absolutely anything extra lives are cool you can buy one right now if you see it on your screen when you use an extra life you can still play when you get a question wrong if you play hq five days in a row you will score a life for free you can use it on any round aside from the final one of course now tonight you're playing for five thousand dollars Got a shmoney right there, doing the shmoney dance. You could trademark your own weird phrase that nobody else wants to use for that kind of money. Also, in this game, you're playing for double the point. Yes, you'll be getting two times what you actually earn, 100% more, because we're feeling pretty generous on this Friday night. Why not? We've got some cool stuff coming up tomorrow. It's smarter day. If you brainiacs out there, you think HQ is too easy. You can find us today. We will find out at 9 p.m. Eastern with trivia and 9:30 p.m. with words. It's a double whammy happening. Now this Sunday we are bringing you Disney villains. Who's your favourite bad guy? Is it Captain Hook? Is it Scar? Is it Ursula? We will probably get a little Cruella Deville on you. Plus 10 G's is going to be up for grabs. Just a few more seconds until the start of the game. We've got 13 seconds right there. Count down with me. 10. Louder.
Oh, crrr, everybody, it's about that time, ow! Yeah, it's time to get to the quizzing. Let's do this, here we go. <laughs> Nutritionist in a healthy sack, deep fried lard, fresh fruit, live tiger. They all sound pretty delicious to me. What do the nutritionists think? Which one's healthy for you? Well, this is a much better idea. It's fresh fruits. Mmm, juicy. All right, you did very well there. 301,000 of you did. Deep fried anything isn't good for the heart, with lard being top of that list. You're not missing out though, because it tastes gross. Now, we're moving on to Q2, but first, I know you all want to level up as high as you can this season, so we're here to help you. You can buy points multipliers if you see it on your screen right now. The more points you earn, the higher the level, the higher the level, the better chance that you have at the season three grand prize, and it's going to be massive. Ready for Q2 now? Let's do it then. What video game is shown here? Donkey Kong Country, Call of Duty, Black Ops, or Tetris? You recognize that game, don't you? All right, Donkey Kong Country, Call of Duty, Black Ops, or Tetris? Or you classic game players. We all played this one. Donkey Kong Country was my fave, but this is not it. Matching tiles never gets old. It could only be Tetris, of course. That's what that little simple game was right there. 289,000 of you tiling your way. Tetris wasn't a classic, it was released in the 80s, and it just made the biggest comeback of 2019. Sorry, Soldier Boy. Outshined you. Q3. Jeggings are leggings that simulate the appearance of what? Jeans, jewelry, jerseys. Okay, who's still guilty of having a pair? I did, about 10 years ago. If your leggings are like jerseys, you're wearing them in the wrong place. Put some pants on already. The worst fashion trend ever is jeans and leggings that equal jeggings. I haven't seen them around in a while, thank goodness. 298,000 of you jogging on to the next round. Now you would think fitted jeans were tight enough, but for those who want to go ultra skin tight, jeggings are for you. Q4. Photosynthesis primarily converts light energy into what other form? Thermal energy, kinetic energy, chemical energy. Feeling pretty energized on this Friday night. If you went for thermal energy right now, you are feeling the heat. It's the wrong type, I'm afraid. It's chemical energy. That's the answer that we were looking for. A chemical reaction happening here. If you tapped on chemical energy, which 163,000 of you did, and that was a tough question. It was cool. Kinetic energy is what you created. Tapping the answer is from motion. Seeing as they can't move much, plants up for chemical energy instead. Makes sense, right? Q5. Which of these social media apps does not have a stories feature? TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram. I'm on all three of these. I've only figured out how to use one, though. If you thought Snapchat was tough to use, try using this one. You'll need a, a 10 year old to teach you how it works, like my niece. TikTok. If you use TikTok before 199,000 of you have your TikToking, you ain't stopping. Now, Zuckerberg tried to buy Snapchat back in the days, but when he couldn't, he just plugged all their features into the apps he already owns. Sucks for Snapchat, that's for sure. All right, who's ready for Q6? Of course you are. Off these musical acts, which did not record a single called Crazy, Tammy Wynette, Niles Barkley, Aerosmith. What do you know about these three very different acts? Seems like everyone has a song called Crazy. I guess it's a word we can all relate to in some form or fashion. All of us, except Tammy Wynette, because why not? You're in it to win 109,000. Coop Dog, Willie Nelson, Kenny Rogers, Usher, and many more all have songs called Crazy. Tammy preferred to stay sane. Ah, smart woman. Q7, we're halfway. What is this boy's name? Is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. 
Remember that video? Is that David? Is that Daniel? Or is that Douglas? Right there. The viral sensation. This is real life. I'll have what he's having, thank you very much. Getting the good stuff in the dentist chair. It was David after dentist. His name is David, of course. 83,000 of you nailed that one. David's video went viral and has around 140 million views. 10 years on, and how much do you want to bet? He's still got the same dentist. I would. Q8. Which of these is a tetralogy? The Die Hard films. Wagner's Ring Cycle. The Chronicles of Narnia. Tetralogy? What could that be? <clears throat> a tetralogy is like a trilogy, but with a bonus fourth chapter. Keep on pedaling, because it's Wagner's ring cycle. Did you put a ring on this one? Oh my goodness, that was a savage question. Our first sa savage question. Again, happy hit on Q8, we love about 55 thousand of you, 29,101 of you are still in the game. There were five Die Hard movies before they died hard. A six is coming soon. Narnia went all the way to a heptalogy, but Wagner went for four blockbuster operas. Q9. What species of dinosaur is Barney? Triceratops, Protoceratops, Tyrannosaurus. I love you. You love me. Lots of cash that we can see. He looks more like a giant gecko to me, but Barney is in fact a dinosaur, taking big and scary and giving it a million dollar smile. He's a Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, he is. 31,000 of you knew that. You're smiling. Barney is the friendliest Rex you'll ever meet. Actually, the only Rex you'll ever meet since the rest are extinct. Yeah, nice smile that Barney has. Better than the original Rex, that's for sure. Q10, which state is the oldest continuously published newspaper in the US from? New York, New Hampshire, Connecticut. Yeah, some people still read newspapers, it's true. It's facts. This daily newspaper dates back to a weekly that began in 1764. Surviving the internet so far, it's from Connecticut. You connected on a thousand of you. I'm going to go with another savage here. Double the savage. We lost almost 20,000 of you. 11,637 of you are moving forward. The Hartford Courant keeps you current if you live in New Haven. And it's so old, George Washington once had his own ad in it, while Jefferson once sued the paper and lost. Don't lose. It's Q11. You're so close. Which US president served in the House of Representatives after his presidency? Martin Van Buren, James K. Polk, John Quincy Adams. Sort of a bit of a step down, really, isn't it? Once you're president, everything else is pretty much a demotion, but that didn't stop the sixth commander in chief from taking this position. It's John Quincy Adams. We were looking for 12,000 of you running things in the game right now. Voting ballots that they're ready because we are heading into the final election with 12,648 players left in the game. Another almost thousand of you using extra lives to get back in. We've got $5,000 in the bag. Time to secure the bag. Like Cardi is Q12. In Jurassic Park, what is Dennis wearing in the ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word graphic. Is it Elvis? He was the most aggravating guy in all of these movies. Hold on to your butts. Dennis was a menace and a hacker when Samuel L. Jackson tried to get into the mainframe. An annoying graphic of him popped up, not donning his usual Hawaiian shirt. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, it was an Elvis jumpsuit for the win tonight. We've got 2007 winners. You smashed it. Wow. Congrats to our 2007 winners tonight. I'm going to say that was a triple savage game because that one was definitely savage. That will keep on taking home two dollars and forty nine cents. Yes, you are. We've got Kate Williams uh, right there. Who else? We've got 
Tomazizio. What kind of mask is that? It's a little scary. We've got uh, Nat Joe as well. Look, he's got a big smile because he's a he's a big winner tonight. Lazy, I weren't lazy. Certainly weren't lazy tonight. That's for sure. And Karakove as well. A little furry cutie right there. Two dollars and forty nine cents. Not bad at all. Well done, H cuties. It was totally epic. You got that sh money. Time to do the shmoney dance. You came, you played, you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me. Don't be shy. Stop by, say hi. Let me know how you did tonight. And do not forget, we've got HQ Words coming up in just a few. 9.30 p.m. Eastern with my girl, Anna. Love myself some Anna. Until then, have an awesome rest of your night. Ow!